So, I thought I'd go ahead and do a video kind of explaining why and how far and how things work, especially since I've gotten a few questions about this lately. Starting on June 22nd, I'm going to be doing a playthrough of Final Fantasy V. Uh, it's going to be starting at about 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and so I hope you'll join me, or at least join me for part of the run. I do hope to actually complete the game. I'll talk more about why I'm saying that in a minute, though. Uh, this isn't quite going to be a lore run, although I have a feeling I'll be talking about the lore as we go through, because it's me and I'm not sure I'm capable of not talking about the lore. I mean, I'm the kind of guy who likes to read into the lore in something like Donkey Kong Country, uh, Tropical Freeze, or Mario Kart, you know, for God's sakes. But I digress. So... Let's explain why exactly I'm doing this. There's something called the Four Job Fiesta. Now, if you've never heard of this term, I'm going to go and explain it in brief. It actually refers to two separate things. There's the charity event, and then there's the method of play. Plenty of people have done the method of play, including me. But this is the first time I've ever actually participated in the charity event. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Um, let's talk about the charity first. The charity goes to something called Child's Play, which I don't think I need to explain to any of you. But in case you do, there's going to be a link down there below. Uh, the first link is going to be to Child's Play itself, and the second link is going to be to my stream, which is where I'll be streaming. The third link, of course, will be the 4 Drop Fiesta thing, if you feel like joining us, because that'd be awesome. I know at least one of my viewers is going to be joining me in, in running through the game, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to seeing our side-by-side -side progress kind of a thing. So... The charity, right? The whole point is to raise money through this through this event uh, for for the, for the, for funding that. Now, originally, I was going to do a weird setup of where I like for forwarded any donations that went to me straight to the charity or something like that. But I've decided against all that. I went ahead and just ponied up some money for myself for the charity because you know that's duh. And <laughs> I don't feel like I need to explain why I did that. And I'm going to go ahead and pledge certain amounts uh, based on how well I do. In other words. Will I be able to complete the game at all? Will I be able to beat Omega? And I will be trying. And will I be able to beat Shinryu? Now, even though we're playing the Game Boy Advance version, I'm not actually going to be going after any of the new Super Optional stuff, so just, just making that clear there. So, that's a thing, and if you feel like donating as well to the charity, that's awesome. And if you don't, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. I just felt like mentioning it, because I felt like that needed to be mentioned first. Now that's the event, the charity event, but let's talk about the style of gameplay, because I've gotten a few questions about this lately. For those of you who have not played Final Fantasy V, we'll start in, the, in a simple manner. FF5 has a job system, which is how it functions. In other words, you, can, you have your levels, but that only determines like your baseline stats, and even then only barely. Because most of your real stats and your abilities in your kit, in other words, what you can actually do, are determined by your job. And you can change your job basically at will as long as you're out of combat. Uh, duh, I suppose I should say. I think FF10 2 is one of the only games that lets you change your job in combat. So, let me give you, uh, I mean, there's some obvious things that you can do with this, but the most fascinating way, the way they did this in FF5 is they had a system where you can kind of do this multi-class thing. For example, let's say that you're a black mage and you level up black mage. As you, as you uh, do combat, you gain job points in addition to experience points. So as you level up your job, you gain more abilities from it. Passives, actives, you know, whatever. That kind of a thing. So as you're gaining these new abilities, you can then have them into slots, and you get like one slot per job, with a couple of exceptions, which won't really matter for this run. Freelancer in the mine. That's not going to be relevant. Um, ergo, once you, uh, let's say you level up Black Mage, just use that as, this is the, like, the most fundamental, normal example there is of multi-classing. Then, you go ahead and, and switch the character to a White Mage, and equip their Black Mage ability that you got from that. So now you can cast Black and White spells on the same character. Fundamental, right? There's a lot of other different ways this can work out, and the number of combinations is staggering. There's a lot of really inventive, interesting stuff people have come up with over the years. In fact, uh, I actually mentioned one to one of my viewers recently, which he'd never thought of, the ability to go ahead and equip harps on a berserker, which may sound weird, but trust me, if you know the game, it's actually pretty mean of a combo. So the whole game with the job system is all about those combos, right? Well, here's the thing. Most people tend to lean towards certain jobs, monks being a big example, and ninjas being a big example as well, because they're both really great, excellent physical fighters. Or uh, some basic combinations like Mystic Knight and Red Mage, or um, uh, I guess that would actually be Mystic Knight and Ninja, wouldn't it? Or Red Mage and uh, just about anything else, really. Or, uh, you know, Beastmaster and, um, and Blue Mage. 
and chemist, of course, with just about anything else. The point is, most people tend to lean towards their specific jobs. So the idea of the four-job fiesta was to try and get people out of their comfort zones to explore and experience new jobs, um, and then to, to appreciate them and to learn how they work, to, to develop new strategies and new ways of playing based on those new jobs. See, this is the funny thing. Final Fantasy IV, in my opinion, was a great game. And Final Fantasy VI, in my opinion, is the best game ever made. But Final Fantasy V is unique because it's one of the best built gameplays in an RPG I've ever seen, ever. Because of all the jobs there are, and there are many, none of them are worthless. None of them are bad. None of them are necessarily worse than the others. The only difference is some take more work to make them actually function than others. Uh, some classic examples are bards and dancers, both of which are actually very mean if you know what you're doing with regards to both. Uh, I'm not going to give you combinations here, I don't want to bore you with the actual tactics or strategy. The point being, there's no such thing as a bad class, and that takes some very seriously well done game design to make that kind of a thing happen. So the fact that they pulled this off is amazing. So the Four Job Fiesta wants you to try out new classes, again, that you've never even really done anything with, that you've never really tried, to, to, to see what they can do, right? And then, of course, to, to 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 really get creative with it. Well, okay, I've got, you know, I've got a, a chemist, a beastmaster, a berserker, and and uh, and a bard. How am I going to make this work? You know, and that's half the fun is coming up with those tactics. I myself freely admit that I leaned heavily on Blue Mage in my first few playthroughs of this game, way back when I was playing the uh, RPG for. So you know, obvious concept, right? Now I've done several uh, four job fiestas. Like I said, with regards to playstyle, this is my first time doing the charity event. So, I'm not exactly a stranger to this, but even to this day, there's a few classes I don't know very well. In fact, Chemist, I mentioned earlier, even though it's one of the most ridiculously overpowered classes, is a class I don't actually know all that well. So if I get that, I'm kind of screwed, right? So that's the basics of how it works. Now, there's a few variances on the rules. Now, I'll be doing what's called a natural run, or an elemental run, as some people refer to it as. In other words, we've got the four characters, right? Bart's is Wind. Um, Lena is water, Ferris is fire, Galuf is earth. In other words, Bart's will always have to be a job from earth, uh, from wind, Lena will always have to be one of the water jobs, Ferris will have to, always have to be the fire, and Galuf will always have to be one of the earth, right? And the jobs are randomly assigned to you, by the way, and there's no switching. Now, a natural run is slightly trickier than a, uh, than a classic run, because in a classic run, let's say your first job you're assigned is a monk. So you could turn all four of your characters into monk. And that makes the first section of the game pretty easy, actually. With a natural run, only Bart's can change into a monk. My other three guys are going to be freelancers, all the way up until I get to the water place. In fact, the dungeon you just saw being finished here and defeating Garula. Once that's done, I can then change Lena into, you know, whatever. But then I'll have two freelancers, so it's going to be a bit, a bit of a challenge. Um, in all honesty, this is actually my first time really going full tilt into an elemental run. I've, I've poked at it before, but I've never actually put effort into doing a full run, so this is kind of a new thing for me, too. There's a few other uh, rule sets that you can do that uh, add variances to the rules and whatnot, and there's no real, like, you must do this or whatever. That's not really the point. The point is to have fun with it. So again, I encourage anyone out there who wants to join me and the, the, the hundreds of other people who are going to be doing this uh, event to join us and have fun with it. Either way, I do hope to see you there. Shoutouts. Have fun. Oh my god, it's a five!